सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग क्रिएट एंड टू डेज वीडियो वी आर गोन टॉक अबाउट हाउ वी कैन एड दी बोन इन टू एनी करेक्टर यूजिंग दी ब्लेंडर सो इन दिस वीडियो एम गोन टॉक अबाउट अ ब्लेंडर इन बिल्ड एड ऑन दैट्स नेम इज रेगी फाइव विद दी हेल्प ऑफ द रेगी फाइव विल गोन एड दी बोन्स इन टू आर करेक्टर सो लेट स्टार्ट दी वीडियो so right now on my screen you can see guys we have a one boy character all right and here you can see this is look nice by the way all right so first of all what i'm going to do basically i'm just going to my edit preference and here i'm just going to search that add on this name is regify yeah this is that add on basically you have to just enable from it and after that if you just press the shift a and go to your uh, like amateur section you will get one basic spawn section where you can just add a basic human meta rig just click it all right when you just add it here you can see it will look something like that so it doesn't matter you can either like scale your uh, model you can either uh, like scale down your skeleton as well whatever you you would like to and whatever you would prefer to do you can do it doesn't matter all right so in this case what i'm going to do basically i'm going to scale it my skeleton something like that and going to like align according to our uh, boy but first of all what i'm going to do basically i'm just going to like uh, select my bone and i'll just go to my bone settings and here i'm just going to my viewport display settings not exactly viewport I'm just going to my bone settings and here I'm just going to view port display settings and here I'm just going to click the in front and what is does exactly in front option it doesn't matter which angle you are and which uh, like orthographic view you view you are uh, that bone will be always show top on the character top on the models any kind of model basically here you can see if I'm just going to rotate it here you can see it doesn't matter it always show on top of the models and that will help us basically rectify the bone structure and selecting the bone also all right so after that i'm just going to like little bit scaling something like that i think that much scale is look nice to me right now okay i'm just going to apply the scale first of all that's not necessary for a skeleton but if you do it's better okay after that i'm just going to my edit mode of my skeleton basically and here i'm just going to enable my x-ray uh, mirror view basically what will do exactly after enabling this here you can see i'm just going to move this bone so that mirror bone and the second parts of bone also will uh, like reacts accordingly the left one basically okay so let's start it so first one i'm just going to move this bone i'm just going to move it like here to here and this one i will just move here to here i'll look nice this one i'm just going to move it here and i'll just select this whole bone and keep it here look nice no issue then i'm just going to select my head bone i'm just going to do a little bit upside i think that much is look nice to me and this will be our neck bone so i'm just going to a little bit down it yeah i'm just going to select all those bones and going to drag it little bit down side that much yeah that's look nice and i'm just going to a little bit down with this bone also make sure to select both of them yeah that's look nice okay after that what we have to do we have to just align our pelvic bones as well so i'm just going to drag it little bit that much look nice select this bone move it here move it here we can just do a little bit down this one also a little bit down okay this is basically our uh, knee bone i'm just going to move it something like that and now i'm just going to my left view and here we can just exactly manage our these bones basically here you can see i'm just going to move it and i'm just going to keep it here keep it here as well look nice quite nice basically okay after that i'm just going to my top view and here i'm just going to move this bone here to like here this one is here to here this one is uh, like here to here look nice all right so here you can see our basic bone structure is almost ready to go yeah look nice after that you have to just exit your edit mode and now here is a trick basically where that all bones gonna automatically connect with our uh, body so right now here you can see if i'm just going to my pose mode and if i'll just move any bone from here here you can see it is not affecting our uh, body basically so first of all we have to do skinning okay so for doing skinning uh, we have to just select our uh, whole body 
after that we have to select our bone pressing the shift then we have to just press the control p and here you will get some option and new dialog box is called set parent to and what is does exactly basically so here is the one option it's called basically with automatic weight and that option will automatically recognize and rectify uh, like how much uh, that bone length and how much area it is covering basically and according to that it will assign a weight for each and every uh, part of body and then when we will move this that that certain amount of bone only that much uh, amount of uh, body will move basically okay so here you can see i'm just gonna click it with automatic weights and it will take little bit time and sometime you will get this bone hitting failed problem okay this is like normal thing it is happening sometime but what is happening exactly here you can see it is parent with the bones if you want to uh, like see it is parent or not so you can just move your bone and if your body will also move along with them that's mean yes your body is like uh, parent with your bone but what happen exactly when you go to your pose mode and you try to move your bone sometimes some part of body basically not gonna what we can say uh, uh, attach and link with your body here you can see our cloth is moving nicely but our hand is not moving okay so for that what we have to do we have to just again like exit our uh, what we can say pose mode then alt p and do clear parent and keep transform first of all so now here you can see uh, there is this bone is no longer connected with our uh, body then we have to just hide everything and first of all we have to see if there is any kind of like extra meshes and open vertices remaining yeah like left so that's why it's happening so what we can do we can just select uh, our whole body uh, like any part of body then we have to just click uh, select all uh, vertices then we have to press the m and here we will get a one new dialog box it's called merge so you have to just do merge by distance there and here you can see there is no vertices what we can do basically we can select our whole body first of all then we have to just go to our edit mode pressing the a select all the vertices then we have to press the m and do merge by distance so there is no vertices which is are like uh open but still we are getting the problem there is another problem basically what is the problem sometime what happen uh like we can see first of all yeah there is no vertices are remaining now what we can do we can just select all the body then apply the scale and when we have to just go to our object here we will get the one option it's called basically convert to mesh okay then um we have to delete all the uh, like bones from here yeah something like that look nice to me okay and let me see okay everything look nice to me and one more thing we can do also basically we can just uh, join all the body parts in a one parts something like that okay then we have to just apply the scale everything look good to me now again i'm just gonna hide my bone and again i will select my bone first of all then i'm gonna select my sorry again i'm just gonna select my body then i'm gonna select my bone i will just do control p with automatic weight and this time i am hoping i will not get the same warning which is i'm getting again now let's see what is the status okay again same thing is happen okay now how we can resolve this problem because this is happening again and again some okay so for that what we have to do basically to again uh, exit from our uh, pose mode again uh, like unparent everything okay and let me see exactly what is that there is no issue okay i'll select my whole body delete all the groups from here and also remove the amateur modifier okay then we have to like uh, convert this mesh into again the mesh yeah look nice select everything press a m merge by distance yeah so now here you can see there are 2000 not 23,564 vertices are open that's why it's happening basically now if i again do the same thing again parent with the bone now i hope i will not get any kind of warning and let's see pose mode move yeah it is not moving again 
let's see the issue behind it see again it is not moving by the way now what we can do this is the only one thing is remaining uh, like we can just unparent everything again select our bone sorry body then we have to again go to our vertices delete all groups look good to me and uh, what we can do basically we can just little bit like decrease the amount of uh, mesh so i'll just use a decimal amount sometimes it's, we have to do it okay it is not necessary every time i'll just set the amount to it will take a little bit time yeah according to your system configuration look nice to me apply all right and now we can select all uh, our body parts then we will just press the three for a face mode i'll just press the p and i'll do separate by loose parts and now here you can see every part is like separate according to their so now here you can see this is the part which is gonna like problem for us now what we can do we'll just select our body first and select our bone to control p with automatic weight and now we can see it is working or not still it is not working now we have to see that what the exact problem behind it okay sometimes it's happen okay do not like panic about it that's why i'm showing everything in live again i'm gonna, gonna do uh, like clear parent okay after that move this okay everything look nice to me now there is one more thing we have to do it we have to just scale our model sometime and apply the scale and let's see our problem is resolved or not again select our model select our uh, rig control p with automatic weight still showing uh, like this warning but let's see that time we get the solution or not pause mode still we are not getting that it's okay don't worry again we will do this what we can do basically we have to just all p clear parent and just see what the issue behind it so what we will do we'll just select p by loose parts okay like control l p the separate the selection again i'm gonna separate everything by manually sometime it's happen okay do not worry about it because this is a real thing i'm doing by the way because lots of people are not showing the what we can do struggle which is i'm doing here okay they left everything and they like skip everything they just show you okay how easy it is it is to doing but it is not basically exactly easy okay so i don't know what is that by the way what is p selection okay let's see now it is working or not select our bone control p with automatic weight see right now there is a no warning it is showing by the way now if i will do this same control p and here we go guys we are successfully done this and now here you can see it is working nicely wow okay so basically what happened exactly uh, i know that uh, there is a problem with this model that's why i choose that model and i have shown each and every step okay i'm not uh, giving a surety like uh, um, sometime you will get a uh, like what we can say solution in a first trick sometime you get like same like me in the last one okay but you have to uh, like use all those tricks which is i have shown you here sometime you have to scale your model sometime you have to join your model sometime you have to like merge or un uh, uh, merge your all vertices which is are like um, open sometime you have to separate some parts sometime you have to select only some parts then you have to just uh, linked okay but at the end you will get the result okay you have to use all those things which is i have done here okay and now what you have to do you have to just manually parent all those with the bones so what will happen what will happen exactly your bone your uh, like what we can say your uh, rig will perfectly work okay so this is the totally unfiltered video okay i have shown you exactly what i face i didn't 
cut anything here okay and because i know that lots of people are facing this problem bone hitting problem i've already uploaded lots of tutorial uh, regarding this bone hitting problem but still i'm showing again because lots of people using this model from the blender kit they have sent me the screenshot into my instagram like this model exactly we are not able to add our own rig it is showing bone hitting problem bone hitting problem so this is the solution guys i hope you enjoy and you learn something new and this is something which i want to show you all of you so if you learn something please hit the like button and hit, hit the subscribe button also and uh, thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something from this video please hit the like button the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys and love you all Thank you.